Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and for today's cards I decided to do two because I finally got my hands on the new uh, Nouveau Shimmer Powder. I've done a, several videos using their shimmer powders and then I think it was around Creativation they released a new color. I'm not 100% certain of the details. I just noticed a new color in the Simon Says Stamp store and I was like, ooh, I need to own that. <laughs> so I ordered it, it's here, along with other things for a haul video that I still haven't filmed, but I broke my own little protocol. You know, I like to film the haul video, show you guys everything. However, this was sitting here and it's just, I, it's just been bugging me. It's like, I, I need to test this out. So I pulled it out of my container and I decided to do two cards because I wanted to compare it because I knew I'd get asked. So I'll get to the powder in a second. But to start off with, I wanted to do a couple of heat embossed backgrounds. So this first one here on the right, this is the Simon Says Stamp Pretty Peonies background. And then the one on the left is the Abstract Triangles background that was released some time ago. And I've also used that one in videos already. I've also used Pretty Peonies in a video already. Um, I just grabbed a couple that were, you know, favorites of mine, although I have so many favorites, it's kind of ridiculous. And I'm using B watercolor paper, um, only because it's just so convenient to cut it in half because they're six by nine sheets. So when you cut them in half, they're four and a half by six, which is like the perfect size for making cards because then I have a little extra leeway, you know, when I want to cut it down, etc. So both of these backgrounds, I white heat emboss, so I use my anti-static powder tool, clear um clear embossing ink and then simon's detail white embossing powder i inked up the stamps face up brought the paper to the stamp rubbed it coated it with the embossing powder and then melted both of them which is not exciting at all until you do something with it so to protect my work surface and also to kind of make this a little easier i just use my tim holtz like flower sack cloth i've shown this in other videos um, I was gonna lay out paper towel because this is this is messy, but it's fun. And I was like, why don't I just use this? This is a little more convenient and this cloth is huge. So that's what I did. I just, you know, something to kind of absorb the excess because this does get everywhere. So there's Violet Brocade Shimmer Powder. That's what I'm using right now. And when I use these shimmer powders, I hold the bottle and I gently tap my finger or my fingernail against the bottom. Do not squeeze the bottle unless you want a pile of this to come out. So funny thing is the new one, the new Lilac Waterfall, that's what I'm using right here. In the bottle, it looks darker. Like it's a deeper shade of purple in the bottle. But when you actually add water to it, it is a much more pale, like lilac sort of color. It's pretty. Hard to compare, like it looks here like it's nothing compared to how intense the Violet Brocade was. But I kind of think as I'm doing the editing, it's like I don't think I had near as much powder on this background as I did with the other one. So kind of just depends but they're both similar in the sense that they have that you know the pink and purple little bursts of pigment in there but definitely completely different shades of purple so just whatever suits you know personal preference so with this one I did keep adding like more powder while it's still wet and sprayed it just to because I really wanted to kind of cover the background with color sopped up a little bit of the excess and then I let both of these completely dry um, my lighting was kind of crap when I was filming this. So you couldn't really see the shimmer. You can kind of see it at the end. It's just gorgeous. So they're completely dry. And normally I would just go on and do my normal steps to finish a card. However, a couple weeks ago, Debbie Hughes, who I've been like talking about her in every video. I've been obsessed with her for the longest time. Anyway, she did a, a card using that same pretty peonies background and she had painted it and it was gorgeous. And then she had added this same stencil and Nouveau's Moonstone paste over it. And it just blew my mind in a way. I would never have thought to use an abstract stencil like this over a floral background and add glitter paste. It just, that never would have occurred to me. And I just loved how it just, it gave it something, something so extra. And I loved it. So it's been in the back of my mind now, ever since I saw her card and I've been wanting to do it. So with these backgrounds, I was like, ooh, this will be so fun. I can use my glitter paste. So that's what I did. I am with this, with the pretty peonies background, I laid over Simon's triangle blast stencil and I'm using Moonstone glimmer paste, which this bottle is nearly empty. I have a backup. And rather than use the same glitter paste on the second card front, I wanted to mix it up a bit. So I'm just gonna remove the stencil, remove this from my work surface, let that sit for a while to dry. And with this background, I am going to use um, Nouveau's Tanzanite Lavender 
glitter paste which is just the prettiest shade of purple and I really this one was the one I was really looking forward to because I really love that triangle background and then to add the triangle stencil it just it kind of gives it this layers and depth that I just love so same thing um kind of mixed it up a bit because it's been sitting for a while and then just applied this with my palette knife and as I always say, when I'm using glitter paste and stencils, I clean off my stencil and my tools and my work surface, etc. immediately. Um, glitter paste just, it's like glitter nail polish. You cannot get rid of it. I literally had chunks of it on my nails as if I had glitter nail polish. I was like standing in line at a store and I was like, what is on my fingernails? And it was glitter paste. So it gets everywhere. It works. It's a lot easier to clean it up while it's still wet and it does dry very quickly as well. So I take my stencil off. I immediately shut off my camera. I wipe everything down and I wash my stencil. It just, it's easier to do it when you can like immediately rather than trying to scrub it off later. So those have completely dried. I die cut them with the second largest of Simon's basic rectangle dies rather than using a paper trimmer. I find with glitter paste, I prefer die cutting whatever my background is or whatever it is. Um, it cuts nicer than it does with a paper trimmer, etc. So I did all that die cutting and then I ran some white cardstock. I have strips of white cardstock and I'm just running them through my little Xyron X sticker maker here so that there's adhesive on the back of all these pieces. And then I'm going to die cut all these pieces with Simon's Big Thanks wafer die. So now I have all of these die cuts with adhesive on the back of them. So all I have to do is peel off that backing paper and I can stack these together, which works so much quicker, especially when I'm doing like two or more cards at once. I can quickly stack these together. I don't have to fiddle with liquid adhesive, etc. So I'm going to do three layers of the white cardstock die cut because that's just my standard MO is to do three layers. It's rare that I'll do more than that. Um, and especially because this is Simon's 120 pound cardstock, like this is a good heavy weight. So it just, it gives it that right, just that right amount of dimension in my opinion. So I've got the three layers stacked. And then once those are stacked together, I'm gonna peel off the backing and I'm going to adhere it to the outline die cut, which I had die cut from some vellum. And as usual, I'm in my own head and not paying attention to my camera. So I'm like working pretty much completely off screen. I apologize for that. I shake my head at myself almost every single time I'm editing. I'm like, what were you thinking? <laughs> because I'm just not paying attention. So stuck that to the vellum die cut. And then um, for the other sentiments, I am using the coordinating big thanks words stamp set. So I have some black cardstock here anti-static powder tool, same clear embossing ink, same detail white embossing powder. So I'm going to stamp two different sentiments from that onto the black cardstock and then I'll white heat emboss them with that embossing powder. And then off camera I die cut those with the smallest of the sentiment labels, wafer dies of course, so that they're all nice and trimmed and perfect. So melt that with my heat tool, clean up my mess, die cut both of those with that little wafer die so they're in perfect little strips and then I also had taken black cardstock and um, die cut it to larger than these backgrounds just to give it a nice little frame and I'm going to adhere these together with Simon's craft tacky glue because that gives me that little bit of wiggle room and whatnot to make sure things are lined up and matted properly and then to adhere the sentiments I did not put adhesive on the vellum pieces for those thanks wafer dies um, I, I normally would it sometimes just depending on what I'm doing but when I'm adhering anything over glitter paste that's dried or like say if it was glitter cardstock whatever um, anything with that sort of texture I like to use liquid adhesive because it really kind of helps to kind of soak in and adhere really really well because in a, some ways it's like glitter like repels adhesive so I like to use a good adhesive for this so that's why I use the craft tacky glue so I just put it um, behind the white die cut parts on the vellum outline and I also use that for the black um, sentiment strips and then for the inside of my card I pulled out the thankful heart stamp set this is one of my still one of my favorite stamp sets I just I love the way the font is and the sentiments and everything and I'm just inking up this large sentiment with the dusty concord archival ink I'm like very much in a purple mood like everything's purple <laughs> with these cards so I inked up the stamp with that and stamped it onto the inside of my card bases. And my card bases are um, Simon Says Stamp cardstock here. It's the 
I think lavender, yes, lavender cardstock. So stamp that with the Dusty Concord archival ink, and then I'm going to adhere my card fronts to the card bases with that same craft tacky glue because I need that wiggle room most of the time. I'm, I've always been really, really good at eyeballing, but I know I've said this before, I swear as I'm getting older, it's just, I'm, it's like I'm losing my touch. <laughs> so I need the extra help to get things lined up and, you know, to just get things straight. So got those adhered and you would leave this as is, like you got glitter paste and shimmer and all that stuff, but of course I'm gonna add more, why not? So I have Studio Katia's June crystals, which are purple. And I'm just placing them onto both of these cards. You can't, on camera, it doesn't really look like it adds much at all. Like there's so much going on. But in real life, you can see them. They look pretty in real life. They just add that little extra bit of, you know, dimension, a little bit of sparkle. Why not? More is more, in my opinion. So I sprinkle those kind of on both these card fronts. And then I'm just adhering them into place with that same craft tacky adhesive. Just picking up the crystals with my jewel picker putting down a little dab of glue, pressing those into the adhesive, and that's going to finish off both of these cards. So I got shimmer and glitter and crystals and just purple everything, which just makes me happy. So as always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. I'll have a supply list with links to everything if you wanna check that out. You can check it out in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, for thumbs upping, for commenting on my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.